Welcome to Grubbin. On this episode of Grubbin with Cold Moo, we have another delightful assortment of treats from Lofi. In this Bunch case, meat. specifically, we have deli treats. Mm -hmm. None of it has any labels, so we can't officially tell you what it is. <laughs> I asked, but they just didn't understand Every, anything I had to you say. You got the gist of most of them. Like, yes. There's yeah. a head cheesy thing, a sausage yeah. thing, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. ham-like thing. I think hopefully by most of it we can kind of tell. It's like, okay, this is cheese and this is meat. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Hopefully yeah. we can tell those <laughs> apart. Let's dive into these deli meats. All right. Oh, is that first? Mm -hmm. Go with this guy first. So this Ooh. is a beef tongue head cheesy looking thing. Look at that. Yeah. I believe the word is translucent. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's got a wonderful texture too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy. T touch it. It's like, oh, it's so yeah. weird. <laughs> I just love looking at this. I know. It is so weird. It's like a stained glass window filled with meat. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Tasty frisbee. All right. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> oh no, I lost the contentment. <laughs> Oh. Damn it, I'm going to the crown. Tongue is amazing. I love mm -hmm. tongue. Oh, yeah. That meat has a really good flavor. I feel like the gelatin, I kind of miss like how the head cheese, like the gelatin and that's mostly fat. So you yeah. still have the same flavor of the meat. It, mm -hmm. It's just sort of a salty just gelatin. Gelatin base just to hold the meat it, together. There, there's not a lot of flavor to it. It is there just to hold mm. it all together. Mm -hmm. It is a really interesting mouthfeel when you get the mix of the, mm -hmm. that gelatin and the meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like the meat, even though it's, it's tender, you still get the kind of mm -hmm. tenuous... Mm -hmm. Delicious. That's fucking delicious. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was good. Mm -hmm. What's next? Uh, let's go with this guy. This, I believe, is a uh, chicken bologna. There you go. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Yeah, a little bit of I can smell. It does smell like bologna. Yeah, I can't smell. Hmm. Huh? That's a way different texture than I was expecting. Hmm. It's got a strong bite to it, like... It's not giving. It's like it almost crunches. Yeah, yeah. It's got a nice firm texture. Go back. I'm wondering, like and... that on a sandwich, though, does that yeah. texture detract from it or add to it? I bet it would be good. Like, I mean, white bread or something. Yeah, that would be freaking amazing. Um, if you're going with like a stronger bread, maybe not so much. Yeah, I can see a white bread with just some mayo and some of this, maybe some salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Get some mustard on there. Come on. Yeah. No, you can't even put mustard on it. Oh. Mm, yeah, oh. mustard might be too much flavor. Yeah. Metro will overpower this. Oh, come on. Yeah. You want a little bit of mustard. Come on, we are... Uh, maybe we some, are civilized people here. Maybe some Dijonese. We put mustard <laughs> on our bologna. No, you should, but this is not normal bologna. <laughs> yeah. What do we got? Uh, the giant dildo. Ah, yes. Fine, here it comes. Oh. I actually did this the day after St. Patrick's Day in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it looked just like this. <laughs> I sort of got a description of the other products that I got, but as far as this sausage, I was like, what's that over there? And she's like, you want? <laughs> it's like, yeah, give me it. <laughs> give me that meat log. Exactly. Mm, it smells really good. My good. All right, cheers. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. A plus for texture. Yeah. That crunch when you bite through it. Mm. So good. It's a lot like a hot link, like a hot sausage you would mm -hmm. get at a at barbecue place. Although it's not as rich as what like goose is, it reminds me of the goose sausage that we made mm -hmm. years ago. Mm. It's got that texture. It's still it's very rich, but it's not quite as strong of a flavor. Yeah, I love that crunch. You guys can't see it, but there's a lot of uh, good pieces of pepper mm -hmm. in here as well. Mm. It's giving a way more um, flavorful feel to it than like a summer sausage. You can tell that uh, if it was cooked, it would be a completely different flavor because there's a mm. lot of fats in here. Yeah, a lot of and fats. And those would totally come through uh, very well if you heated them up just a little yeah. bit. I love sausage. Yes. To quote the Ted Smith. What else we got? Um, I think we're going to have to go for these guys here. Get Ooh. them out of the way. I know you're not looking forward to it. Ooh. Yeah, they just smelled like pickled mushrooms. I'm curious as to what mushrooms they are. Yeah. They smell like macaque, is what they smell like to <laughs> no, me. No, macaque smelled like paint. Uh, yeah, there's a little hint of paint in there. No, macaque smells much better than this. <laughs> oh, are you serious? <laughs> it's not your cock. Oh, oh, oh macaque. I gotcha. Good luck, Pink. 
Yeah, it's like an antipasto mushroom. Instead of being like the uh, little brown button mushrooms, it's just one of these. It just tastes like an antipasto to me. How you doing over there, big guy? Mm. <laughs> Terrible. Mm. They oh, do good. taste lightly of paint to me. I don't understand how you can eat that and then complain about the texture of like cop liver. That texture is terrible. I, I'm, hey, I'm not saying I'm broken. Ugh, I'm they're... broken merchandise, people. <laughs> it's briny, it's earthy, mm -hmm. gelatinous, gross. I would say like, the texture of these ones are kind of slightly more off putting than most mushrooms that are ugh. kind of done this way, but ugh. they're still doable. Ugh. I'm saying the mushroom by itself was probably better. Um, the treatment that they do here makes it very salty. We'll go ahead and leave those with Lofi. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's, let's move on to something good. Go for what I'm assuming is the cheese. This is Lithuanian cheese. It smells like a, a better Swiss, like a more milk fatty Swiss. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. It's got like that nice creamy texture but it has just enough bite to it like that sharpness yeah that gives you that flavor this is smack dab in the oh. middle of two cheeses and i can't decide which cheeses but it's got something i go on, something i like going on from i'm going different cheeses just like the smell mm. of a cross between like a swiss gouda maybe yeah. a little bit of cheddar hint how much per pound i don't, I don't know <laughs> i can't remember what i did to the paper i don't care Here's a blank check. Give me the cheese, right? <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy me like six pounds of that shit. Mm -hmm. That stuff is good. All right, let's get your next favorite out of the way. Uh huh. Uh oh, where are we going here? This is pate some pork some pate. Uh, Long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Comes off. Oh good, so. god. Oh please. It smells oh, fucking please. fantastic. Oh yeah. It smells like. Fart. It smells like <laughs> it smells like garlicky liverwurst. Yeah, it smells like a really good liverwurst. There we are. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Something. Mm. 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 Not good. Mm. Not quite as is is irony as what normal liverwurst and stuff is, but. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. It's really light. I disagree. Mm -hmm. Out of the pâtés I've had, this is probably one of the better ones. <clears throat> Very good. Just stuff. because it doesn't have that absolutely disgusting cognac vinegar yeah. mix that's inside of most of them for what? some reason. That sounds awful. Yeah, dude, it's gross. Like, there's a lot of pâtés that you get in cans that have like cognac in them. That's supposed to be like the selling point, I guess. Ew. And they just taste vinegary and yeah. gross. Like, I'm having trouble describing. Exactly what this is like. Uh, like I'm assuming it's like a chicken, or it's a lighter meat of some sort. It's a pork. Pork. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You said that like four different times. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> I dig it. The texture might be an issue, but at the same time, this stuff is supposed to be sprayed over like a bruschetta or a cracker or like something like that. But uh, it's got a ton uh, of good flavor in it. Uh, nom, yeah. Nom. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hairpick does not agree. Alright, let's go for the uh I would call these sort? like a smoked knockwurst or something like that. It's kinda yes. floppy. It's the thin dick. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Yes. Get a couple more anyway. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> no, I think we're done with it. <laughs> That's enough. Mm. It's so floppy. Mm -hmm. Again, a really nice casing, nice snap when you bite into it. Mm -hmm. See, to me, these taste like kielbasa. Like, mm. just a really thin version of that. Yeah, you know? only ask what I'm thinking of, and I'm just stupid. Like, fry these up, sauerkraut. Like, if you need, like, a little tiny long bun. <laughs> like, yeah. maybe a little tiny baguette, like, stuff this in the middle of it. <laughs> meat torpedo. Uh-huh, meat torpedo. Yep. Last product. Yes. Ham. It is a ham. ham. Um, Lithuanian ham? Cheers. Cheers. Salut. Little ham. Mmm. Mmm. This is like really super tender. Mm hmm. I like it because it doesn't look like. Like a lot of times you get like cheap ham and there'll be like big chunks of like gristle in the middle of it. Yeah. Like you make a sandwich out of that and you bite it and you're like, ah! Oh. Yeah. 
What is this? This is like really good quality. That's what I'm saying. Like this is just a real piece of ham. It's nice and maybe a little hint of smoke I'm getting out of there. What's uh, what? It's very sort of just roasty tasting. It's not over salty. Yeah. There's not a lot of seasonings. Just kind of get a pure ham flavor. A delightful assortment of meats. Mm -hmm. Very delicious, <laughs> except for a couple of things. <laughs> it was, it was all good. delicious. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't know. Least favorite has got to be the mushrooms. Yeah, I would agree. I think so. Yeah. I would agree. I mean, I'm a big fan of mushrooms, and you would have to do a lot to screw that experience up for me, and you almost got there, Russia. These are almost <laughs> completely ruined. So, thank you for bringing these over, Luffy. Yeah, yeah, no the shit, pate man. And the mushroom. That shit was good, dude. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, this has been Grubbin' with Cold Moon. Thank you for watching. Floppy sausage! <laughs> yeah! yeah!